Bij mij in die atelier is Pali Makopo, eienaar van So by Man in Volwijs en Henk Henderson, die eienaar en stichter van Henderson Works, de harte venue en nou ook de kas en kou, waar we ons alles meer gaan uitvind. Bij jullie, bye bye, welkom bij okay. Winslijn. Thank you. Pali, I'm going to kick off with you. You belong to a franchise. Um, it's always this perception that the franchise is supposed to give you some protection during these times. Uh, did you get that um, support? Um, well, I mean, I won't lie, in these um, current economic times um, in South Africa's weak economy, uh, COVID-19 has done nothing but heighten um, the, 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 uh, the, the, the weakness of, 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 of this economy. So having a very strong uh, brand such as Sobe Man behind you has really helped me, for instance, um, has really helped me in terms of negotiating uh, with, with, with landlords in terms of our lease. Um, so it's 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 not only um, it's not only um, assisted us in terms of moving forward, but the support that we've received from the from the Sobe brand as a franchise has been nothing but um, but great for us. And also, it's very it's 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 been very easy for us to harness off the the the, the support and harness off of 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 the support that um, the franchise right. the franchisor has given us. Right. So it's it's yeah it's. You know, um, having a strong brand such as Sobe Man has really helped us and has really supported us. Um, but we also need to remember that the business um, that you own as a franchisee um, is also your business. Yeah. Um, so. And in your case, that's uh, in your case, it's precisely the same. I mean, you're only a sock, naturally. And also, naturally, one word that we hear at the moment is pivoting. So you have your own business model, so we have coffee for coffee, and now we're in a daily business model, to change your model. Can you pivot in your own business model? We must. I think the thing is, people who have a lot of work, raak your family and you feel love. Yeah. So it's not so easy to say retrenching. Het is, jy, jy wil nog steeds vir die stork, so wat ons gedoen het met, met Anderson Works, ons het, om, ons het die workshop en ons het die vakmanskap en ons het allemaal wat nog vir ons werk, um, en ons het toe de kaas uit dit uit omskep en, en meubels daar uit begin maak, uit, uit de bezigheid uit wat hoofdzakelijk gefokus het op kersdekor vir winkelcentrums en op activations vir winkelcentrums, um, wat ons weet wat laatste gaan gebeur. So in stede van om ons mensen te laat gaan, het ons gesê werk op uh, iets anders wat wel nog steeds vir ons kan werk. Ja. En so verseker het, het moes ons daar aanpas. Ek denk, COVID het ons allemaal geleerd om die maat so'n bykie onder jou uit te ruk. En ons raak baie van een gewoond om in ons eie routine net aan te hou en aan te hou, tot jy een ceiling bereik. Mm. En as jy nie self daar uit kan kom nie, gebeur dit soos COVID en breek ceilings vir jou. Want dan moet jy anders denk, anders gaan jy achterblij. So, Pali, interesting what, uh, what Henk is, is referring to. He says, don't reach the ceiling. Another thing that, and, and he said, well, let's go and re-look uh, you know, at our own businesses. I did exactly the same. You know, I looked at my income statement. I said, these are my list of expenses and I have to cut some place. You know, I have to be innovative on where I actually cut on my costs. Were you able to cut some costs out of your business? Yes, I mean, it was a, it was a hard pill to swallow where you have to differentiate between um, what is necessary and what is not. Um, it's, it's, it's also very difficult when you've been operating in a certain model and in a certain way to now start to actually um, say, I need to save my business and therefore there's certain things that I've got to cut. And those things may have not been, they may have been luxurious kind of spend, yeah. but they're absolutely necessary to keep the business going and your people to be motivated also. Yeah. But it, it, came to, it came to a point where you need to say, what is... Um, what is um, necessary ex expenditure and yeah. what is necessary. So what was luxurious in your case that you had to cut out? For instance, I mean, it's a simple thing as um, whenever we have birthdays, we have celebrations in the store. Um, at Sobe Man Forwards, we have celebrations in the store. Yeah. And we've had to now see how do I still keep um, that culture of celebrating birthdays, but um, not doing it for every yeah. single birthday. So we group, we now group um, our birthdays to say in a month we'll do these particular birthdays or in a quarter so it's not it's it's, it's on a period basis it's yeah. no longer on an individual basis so we, we, we've done exactly by, uh, the same by the way so um <laughs> Henk, kultuur hoe belangrijk was het om kultuur te hou nou jy is jy is jy eie besigheid jy sê jy stres dis 'n baie moeilike tyd jy fokus dikwels intern hoe het jy seker gemaak dat die kultuur wat jy gevestig het oor die laaste dekade of 15 jaar bou jy steeds in jou besigheid al is dit hoe moeilik Ik denk, wat mij reed, time and again, is dat ik moet denken, dit is niet net ek. Mm. Maar als jij ook, jij ook, die bank ook, en allemaal samen. So, die oomlik as ek nie die ochtend wil opstaan nie, en Maria bel my en sê vir my, ek is laat vandag, dan, dan besef ek, oh, ek moet opstaan, Maria is ook laat, sy wacht vir my. Um, ek denk, om die positiviteit te hou, 
ons kan in twee groepen, ons kan om die tafel in twee groepen wees, ons kan, een kant kan, kan heil oor waarheid, wat sleg is, en, en oor negativiteit, en die ander groep kan iets daar uitmaak, en ek kan kies wat sy kant ook wil gaan, en ek praat net nou met daarvan. van, ek het besluit om daai een kant te vermy, mm. wat al is dit die waarheid, vermy ek het nou, want ons te veel wat op my relaai, en ek weet op hulle, en ons feed van mekaar af. Ek hou baie daarvan, so, uh, Polly, this thing that it's a mindset, that, that you have to choose, that in our case we said, we will choose hope and opportunity, even though there's a real reality, but focusing your efforts on that is absolutely useless. Mm. What did you guys focus on? I mean, for us, it's, we at a point in our, in, in, in our business where we have to rebuild. Mm. Uh, rebuild, and get everybody aligned in terms of what the goal is. And, um, and I see that in terms of, of where my staff is performing, it's, it's, it's an, an optimal level there. They invested in saving the business. And I think the, the main thing is communication mm -hmm. with your staff and making sure that you, that you make them understand exactly what it is that, that you're going for. Let them buy in to your goal and you know, so that we all serve this, 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 the same goal that we're trying to yeah. reach. And that's been very important for us to rebuild the business and to a point where we were before the, the, yeah. the, the COVID-19 pandemic hit us. Absolutely. I think by die, yeah. I think I think COVID has all learned how important humanity is. Mm. Om, om lelik en om beskof en, en agressief te wees, is nie a kunst nie. Maar ek denk ons allemaal het teruggeleer om menselijk te wees. <coughs> Excuse. Ek, my employees, sowel as my cliënten, ons allemaal so oor en weer is daar a, a, as iemand sê, kan sy leren trouwe, ek kan sê nie, maar ek verstaan sy situasie, ek is menselik, hy was menselik, en so is die ketting loop recht dier met jou, jou werker, so wel as jy, en die werk van jy baie mooi. Ek heb baie daarvan, so, um, and it refers to the importance of all your stakeholders, that it's impossible just to mm. have one party, you know, pull, pull, pull the wagon, that everybody has to work together. Was it the same in your case? Yes. Um, so, I mean, it's, we are supported, I mean, we're a franchise, we're supported by, by the franchise, but, being in an individual store, we have to let them know what our goals are. So we can't be treated with a blanket approach as yeah. the other stores. So we're trying to, um, so in terms of our main goal, we need to let everybody that is um, part and parcel of building the store, let, let everybody know what it is that we have to do and what it is that we intend to do yeah. um, so that we make sure that we're not pulling in different directions. Absolutely. We're pulling in the same direction. Yeah. That's been very important. Think how are you motivated? Eerlijk waar hoe lief ek geworden is van my staf, mm -hmm. en, en hulle vir my, en ons mekaar verstaan, ons het van ochend weer vergadering gehad, en vir hulle gesê, ek denk eerlijkheid, en dat ek vir hulle moet sê, dat ek weet nie wat die toekomst in bouw, mm -hmm. jylle ook nie, maar dit is wat ons nou gaan doen, en ons sal elke maand dit van vooraf vat, mm -hmm. en ek moet vir jy sê, hulle gemoed terug teen oor my, maak my weer nederig, en gee my weer hoop, is, is hoe hulle reageer en vat, en saamstaan, yeah. en eindste Maria van ochend, wat saam met my heil, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En ek denk daai gee my weer moed, wat ek daar druk en sê, we'll, we will get through this. Yeah. Ons allemaal saam, hand aan hand. Ek, en, en om te focus eder weer op die klein man, af van die pad. En my aankoop by die venue bijvoorbeeld te doen, by die boer, yeah. twee kilo's van my af. En die kaas, by die vrou, wat oorkant op my is. En nie by die groot ou nie, maar eder die, die klein oukies hier onder ons, wat verskrikkelijk sikkel. En ek denk daai ook my positief, hulle dankbaarheid en, en hulle gemoed. Absoluut. Henk en Polly, dit was baie lekker om hier op die program te hee. Dankie. Vir toeneemend baie ondernemings is afleggings iets wat oor die afloop paar maanden een realiteit geword het. Ons neem een vinnige breek en gesels net die naam met Dr. Albertus Marie van IJM Tax oor dit wat jy moet weet. Bly waar jy is. Thank you.